What's going on, Cowboy Faithful? It's your boy DMV back with another one to talk the scouting reports of the Arizona Cardinals. Before I do anything else, man, look, got a shout out to my brother Rome for the merch right here, baby. Dak Prescott, most hated. All right. Make sure y'all go check my boy out. Go get his merch. All right. And let's get to that scout report, man. So the Arizona Cardinals have dropped games to our division rivals, the Giants and Washington in back-to-back -back weeks, really. And I watched Rome's video last night because uh, I always support my bros. And he brought up a very good point. There's levels to this thing, man. And uh, neither of those teams are up to our level. Giants or Washington. And Arizona was in dogfights with both of them. But when I, but in dogfights, meaning they lost those games. Meaning at some point they lost control of those games. Meaning they let quarterbacks really that aren't good uh, kind of dictate points in that game. There were points that Sam Howell was, was tearing their zone up. And Daniel Jones threw for 300 yards. Daniel Jones couldn't even take a damn snap against us. And yet he came back, and everybody thinks the Giants are back because of the Arizona Cardinals. So, in my mind, I feel like this should be a walk in the park. In my mind, I feel like the Arizona Cardinals aren't a disciplined football team. I don't think they're a very good football team. But any given Sunday, you have to go out there and take care of business. But let's jump into the film and see exactly what it is that I see. And then, you know, we'll have a conclusion. Says on the beat, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he wore the light. Hair yeah, lights, I've been with midnight through the sea. I've been going through some things, trying to get my mind right. Push the bucket to the lid, push that bitch into the fish. Gotta get the full control, gotta get my mind right. Hair yeah, lights, I've been with midnight through the sea. I've been going through some things, trying to get my mind right Push the bucket to the lid, push that bitch into the fish Gotta get the full control, gotta get my mind right yeah. The first order of business is the Dallas Cowboys have to keep James Conner in check uh, he's not the James Conner of old, but he is a guy that can get going if he's getting north and south. But if he's going east and west, you kind of want to string plays out because he doesn't have the speed. But he can break tackles if you're allowing him to get north and south. Second order of business is Dallas Cowboys have to make uh, Josh Dobbs uncomfortable. He's, he's a young quarterback, but he's nothing special. They try and get him, you know, outside the hashes as far as his throws and stuff goes, but they give him a lot of RPO concepts, allow him to use his legs a bit. Um, like I said, a lot of play action, RPO, you know, to get him in the sweet spots. Sweet spots are really outside the hashes. He's not somebody that's going to kill you deep middle or, or use the entire field. So most of their offense is kind of college-based, if, if I may say so. You can manipulate them with your type of front. With that being said, and being a college-based type of offense, you know, they do a lot of misdirection. They, they get their playmakers the football. The only thing about it is there's no method or of madness to it. They're just kind of out there calling plays. As you can see, they, they call that will play. And they kind of set it up, but you don't have to worry about it that much. But mainly, their defense is Swiss cheese, bro. They let Daniel Jones throw for over 300 yards against them. I mean, that zone is soft as hell. Uh, the, the safeties, you can manipulate them with the eyes. I mean, look at this. Look at Sam Howell back there in the pocket all day. You know what I'm saying? Just completing passes across the middle. I mean, Sam Howell didn't have a, a, a particular great day, but he had, you know, his, his spurts. And then you can see this. Like, I mean, they don't have nothing for C.D. Lamb over there. Especially if Brandon Cooks is able to play. Like, this this right here is a particular play I was talking about. You can manipulate the safety. Sam Howell just don't know what the hell he's looking at. So he just runs until he can find somebody open. But they do have a sneaky pass rush. And every once in a while, you know what I'm saying, that a broken clock is right twice a day. And sometimes they can get home with that rush.
and, and that's pretty much it, man. Look, that that's what I got out of the Arizona Cardinals film from when I watched it. I've act, I actually watched the games as they happened as well. There's nothing special with that team. It just looks like they put a whole bunch of Joes together. Uh, guys are out there trying to, you know, maybe pay for some future, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe just playing, you know, just to get some some, some future contracts. Looks like they're a team that's in the Caleb Williams sweepstakes. That's what it looks like. It's hard for me to put my thoughts together, but in my mind, I feel like Dallas should go out there and take care of business. You know, every week, you, you can't have a let off. You can't, you can't let off the gas. Every week, you got to go out there and take care of business, no matter who it is, because you're going to have the pundits that have a lot to say. Pretty sure that there's going to be some dumbass that, that goes out of their way to say Arizona's going to win this game. And when they do, your boy's going to put them up on that Summer Jam screen. But all right, y'all, man, appreciate y'all. You know, the All-22 didn't come out yet. So, you know, we did the scout report a little bit early. But I, I appreciate y'all for stopping by. We out. Peace.